In gypsy jazz, or jazz manouche, the term used to describe the special strumming technique for swing rhythm is la pompe. This is French for the pump, and refers to the strong momentum and energy this technique provides to an ensemble. This technique is for songs with 4 beats per bar, which is to say, standard swing tunes. We will begin by focusing entirely on the right hand. So with your left hand, just rest it lightly on the strings of the guitar, so as to mute them. Place your right hand in the bent wrist position we covered in the lesson on right hand posture. Now, we want to start by just playing a group of four strums. One for each beat in the bar. And let's count aloud the strums as we play them. This is helpful for your timing, and also in remembering what we need to do on each beat, since our motion on beats 1 and 3 will be different to that on beats 2 and 4. So, let's do that first, and let's aim to hit all the strings. Watch your right hand closely, make sure you are getting the treble strings, as well as the bass. Whilst not all chords in Gypsy Jazz make use of every string, there are some essential chords that do. So it is important to develop the habit of being able to hit each and every string. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. In Gypsy Jazz, we let gravity do a lot of the strumming. We don't want to force the pick through the strings. The motion is entirely relaxed. And really, we are allowing the weight of our right hand to guide the pick through the strings. If you feel that you are having to force your right hand through the strings, try this. Rest your pick on the top of the low E string, and then just allow your hand to fall. Just let go of your hand. Your hand should pass through all the strings, since its weight cannot be held up by the pick alone. This motion should use both our arm and a slight turn of our wrist. It's important to take your time with this technique, as producing correct rhythm is trickier than it seems when you first listen to Gypsy Jazz. That's why we're building up the elements of accompaniment slowly. If there is a point that you are finding difficult, such as the idea of allowing gravity to do the strumming and getting all the strings, then be sure to take your time with it and only move on once you're comfortable. This will ensure that you have a strong basis and quality technique in the long run. Once you are comfortable with everything covered so far, we can refine the motion we need for this technique. We need to make the motion on beats 1 and 3 smaller than that of the 2 and 4. This is so we can achieve a swing accent on the 2 and 4 and it will help our overall drive, the pump. On beat 1, we pass through the strings as normal. And then we want to imagine the high E string to be a little trampoline. After passing through this string, we want to bounce back up nice and high. Let's say we aim for our pick to reach the join between top and side. We then fall back through the strings, this time without the trampoline for beat 2. After, we return the hand to its original position, just above the low E string. And this process is repeated for beats 3 and 4. The trampoline concept can be tricky to grasp at first, but you will find after a while that it does work and is a helpful way to think of the motion. Essentially, what we're trying to do is keep the momentum gained from the relaxed fall through the strings on the 1 and 3 and to harness this momentum to swing back in the other direction. So keeping the momentum going. Some people find it helpful to think of an elliptical shape when working on this motion. This requires a loose and relaxed wrist, so be sure to check your wrist posture as you are working on this. So, let's do that again. I'll demonstrate for you increasing in tempo in small increments. Afterwards, pause the video and spend some time practicing this. It may be a good idea to re-watch this portion of the video so that you can really get an idea for the technique. Don't move on until you feel comfortable with it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
Take your time with this and don't forget to hit all the strings. When it becomes natural for you, you will start to feel the pump. And the term la pomp will make sense to you. In the next lesson, we'll introduce the left hand by learning the minor 6 chord. Thank you.